really sorry for kids these days. There's so much riding on a few exams. Poor Steve. He must be that nervous. Oh, he's going to feel terrible if he doesn't get his grades this time, isn't he? And if he does, he's off and away. What with that and this rugby match? Oh, don't. Simon says he's going to pull sponsorship for next season if they don't make a decent fist of it today. There goes sponsorship then. This way. <clears throat> Get in there. Thank you. You want tea? No. No, no thank you. Treat yourself. You have absolutely no idea what this is about. Mrs. Fowles? My sister Snow here. Can I come in? Mrs. Fowles? Mrs. Fowles? I I'm going to open curtains, love. A bit of light up situation. <clears throat> Hello, pet. What seems to be a problem? <sighs> what exactly is wrong with you, Mrs. Fowles? My leg. Your leg hurts. Have you been seeing a doctor? I don't like doctor. Right, let's have a look at you. Can you not get to the bathroom? If I want to. You have to keep yourself clean, love. Right, let's uh, take this bandage off. Are you sure this is the right leg? Only I, I can't see anything. Mrs. Fowles, it was you that called for nurses, wasn't it? Or was there something else? <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Fowles. Tell us what's upsetting you. Maybe we can help. I want you to stop him wanting it. Sorry. Stop him wanting it. Wanting what, love? <laughs> Give him pill. If you don't want sex with your husband, you just say no. You don't need a pill. Give him pill. Like him what? what? Bromide, you mean? 
Think more they used to give soldiers bromide to um, stop them wanting it. Exactly. You want us to speak to your husband about his needs? Is that why you asked to see us? I think hygiene's high on the list of priorities. There's nothing here. There's no soap, no shampoo, nothing. Just a lot of testosterone. <coughs> Can you imagine it? I'm trying not to. <laughs> Stop him wanting it. That's not funny. I wanted to want it. <laughs> what are we going to do with it for a woman's really unhappy? I'll pop into town, get some soap and stuff. At least we can do is clear her up a bit. Yeah, what about me? You stay here and have a word with Mr. Fowles. Me? Mm. Oh, no way. Somebody's got to do it. You will do it, your boss. I'm delegating. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not doing it. Excuse me, Mr. Fowles, you don't know me, but would you mind curbing your sexual appetite? All right. We we'll both do it. I want it, I want it. <laughs> Mr. Fowles. <clears throat> the thing is, Mr. Fowles, we've been having a, a chat with your wife, and uh, she seems a little, um, a little agitated. Mr. Fowles, um, what would you do if one of your female pigs was resistant charms of one of your male pigs? So. Excuse me? Female pig, so. I'd kill her and then I'd have her for breakfast. Mrs. Fowles thinks you've been a little bit pushy in bedroom. Pushy? She's concerned that there's a, a disparity in your, your physical drives. What are you talking about, woman? No means no, Mr. Fowles. Don't matter if you've just met or you've been married 50 years. That's right. Buy a magazine, love. Oh, well, I, I hope you don't think we've spoken out of turn, Mr. Fowles, but... Uh, your wife did seem quite concerned about it. I think we made our point. I think we did. Well, they should do the trick. Never admits defeat in war on germs. Oh, I guess they never met Elsa Fowles. <laughs> I must stay to let yourself get into. Right, let's pay for this lot. Go and do a quick scrub on Mrs. Fowles and get to the match. You're all right, Mrs. Snow. Oh, hello, love. Oh, how, how did Stephen get on? How do you mean? Well, he, he got his results today, didn't he? I wasn't being nosy. He just got to know envelopes. No, what they went post came. Yeah, I'm sure they did run me. I gave envelope to Lucy this morning. See ya. You're upset he might be going, but pinching exam results. You don't know that for sure. Oh, Stephen will have a guts for gathers if he finds out. Okay. Do you think he's saying sorry to her? I hope so. Under there somewhere. <laughs> we had a word with Mr. Fowles. Yes. It's a bit outside our job description, but I think he understood. 
We might have a bit of a surprise for you. Flowers are something. Flowers? He hasn't bought me flowers in 30 years. People change. You saw him with flowers? Well, I couldn't possibly comment. I wouldn't want to spoil anyone's treat. Where did you see him? In town. Oh, they were lovely. Biggest bunch of red carnations you've ever seen. No, no! Ah! Right. Make it him. I mean, it weren't no fairy tale, but it were all right. He were out of my hair all day, working, and I, I kept house. I kept it all right, too. Get myself all right too. What, what happened? They built bloody road. That's what happened. It's just a bit um, noisy, I suppose. They give us money for noise. Compensation. Compensation. That's when it all started. You see that? This one was full of money once. This one. This was full of money once. And, and this. Where did it go? He sat around here. Too much time on his hands, thinking. Men like him aren't built to think. They're meant to get on with things. Is he spending it all on himself? Not on himself, on her. Colour television, three piece suite, new carpet. What's this one? Microwave. Holiday in Disneyland. Paris. Florida. New boiler. New bed. Sorry. When did this start? Three months ago. He started spending money. Have you, have you talked to him about it? We're not talking tight. Three months? You've been lying unwashed in that bed for three months? Why? I wanted him to notice. To worry about me. But he don't care about me. Don't care about the farm. Just this woman. Hey, hey. Come on now, it's enough of that. <laughs> Do you know who she is, this woman? I've got a dress. Go and see her. Tell her to leave us alone. No, I don't think we can do that, love. I mean, it's not really any of our business, is it? But you're meant to make people better, aren't you? I know, but... Please, go and see her. I've no one else to turn to. What are we going to do? I feel so sorry for her. I'm stuck up here on her own. Him spending all this savings. I wonder who this other woman is. Fancy doing it with a man like that for a colour telly. And a microwave. <coughs> Game must have started. Oh, all we have to do is have a really quick word with this woman. They won't even notice when I'm there. Where's Ruth and Peggy? Working, I expect. Working? These lads are putting out line for this town. They should be here. Accuse some woman of having an affair. I'm not sure Wendy Atkins would agree. That was completely different. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, come on. Think of all the fouls. Yes. Oh, hello. It's 
It's, um, it's Lucy's mum, isn't it? That's right. It, Mrs Figgis, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Mrs Figgis is uh, dinner lady at Lucy's school. Oh. What can I do for you? If it's, it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. Hello. Oh, you'll not get the word out of them when they're sat in front of that thing. Hey, turn it down. Nice, Kelly. Thank you. Um, you wanted to talk to me about one of your patients. Mum, let's put stems off the mark. Yes, love. Come on, I'll show you how. He said he were a widower. He's got a wife, all right. Not a very happy one. I have no idea. I met him at bus stop in Uddersfield. It were raining and we got talking. He said he were a wealthy widower. He paid for us to get a taxi all the way back to Skelthwaite. I know what you're thinking. How could she? Horrible old man like that. Mum, can I find Michael's house? It's all right, love. Be on for your tea, won't you? Three boys I had. One after the other. Then one night, the father tells me he's had enough. He's moving out. He found a younger model. And that was that. I worked where I could. I scrimped and saved where I could. We moved here to try and make a fresh start. I'm sorry. My relationship with Mr. Harris. Is that his real name? No, love, it's not. My relationship with whoever the hell he is, it's purely business. He provides me and my family with some of the good things in life, and I provide him. I know what you're thinking. There's a name for women like me, isn't there? Well, you haven't been where I've been, so you don't know what you do to help your kids. We haven't come here to judge anybody. Oh, why have you come here then? To laugh at me? To see where it could be could stoop so low? Well, now you know. We came because, um, an unhappy woman asked us to. I knew nothing about her, I swear. I believe you. Bloody men. What can I tell Mrs. Fowles? You can tell her what you like. You can tell her I'll not be seeing her husband again. Um, tell me something. I like it here. My kids like it here. Are we going to have to move on? Not because of us, love. As far as I'm concerned, today never happened. Thank you. I'll deal with him. <laughs> oh, they're still playing. We'll just catch the last couple of minutes. What <sighs> thing? It's incredible, isn't it? Two intelligent women made miserable by an unwashed pig farmer with a bit of brass. Men always find that one female in trouble, don't they? Then home in on her. It's an instinct. Oh, they have their little dreams and desires, and somehow they find women to make them happen. It's quite a trick, really. Yeah. Just as well we're wise to it. Or we'll be up to our ankles in mud, watching them chase after a stupid ball. Come on! Come on, Ruth! Let's have ball back! <laughs> 